Hello, welcome to another sort of episode of Student It Presents, if you want to call it an episode, um, rather it's just a video of me talking about how today you can decorate your student room. So there's a few ways you can do it and there's some ways that you definitely shouldn't do it. Um, a student room can be a tricky place to decorate because uh, obviously you don't want to go banging in any holes in the wall, so you don't want to put in many picture frames, so you want to try and make it appealing to you and make it your little space, um, but you can't modify anything. So we're going to look at what concepts you can do, what um, items you can use, and how you can make it feel like a, a nice tidy little space which is your own and uh, not damage any of the walls. So. Uh, first one that I really like is cork boards. Uh, cork boards give you the imagination to create your own design, um, but obviously allow you to change it every so often if you're that type of person that likes to have a little rearrange. You know, you can put it somewhere, you can put it on a desk, you can, uh, you know, put it on a radiator, you can put it on the window, uh, wherever, on a shelf, and then you can rearrange it and put everything exactly how you like. A lot of people have them, you can put plenty of photos. I used to put a lot of wristbands on mine for some reason, you used to be one of those type of people. Um, and I just used to rearrange everything every so often and just to, you know, have it in the room so I can look at it every so often and go, yeah, that was a great time. Um, another thing, if you haven't got a cork board, um, cork boards are probably about, depending on where you go, going, five to ten pound. Wilco's are all right um, for, for stuff like that, B&Q as well. You can get them online, Amazon will send them to you. Um, if you don't have a cork board and you don't want a cork board, photos are a great way of... Uh, that sort of sentimental value memorabilia and um, you can put these on your desk so you can have them in little frames you can blue tap them to your wardrobe uh, inside your wardrobe and um, so they're not on the wall and um, because if you blue tack them on the wall they can leave marks and if they do leave a mark i guarantee the landlord will charge you for painting over it and that's what we don't want because it'll come out of your deposit uh, next up is no frames on walls so um some landlords might allow you to, to put a nail in the wall and hang a frame on. If, if you ask them, say, can I just have a nail there? And, you know, can I put a photo frame on it? And they might do. Most like to try and keep them clean because when it comes to the next student, they might not want that photo frame there and they might not have a frame there. So they like to try and keep the walls clean um, or design, do something themselves with the design and artwork. Uh, as I say, care for blue tack lights. It's another great one. So this can be lamps, fairy lights, um, and other small lights. So you can have your, your lamps on your desk or your bedside table. You can have your fairy lights um, around your computer, in one corner of the bedroom, um, above your bed. Um, you can get ones that stretch out. And these are really good for just creating a mood setting. Um, they're, they're, not that, they're not that expensive. You can get some fairly cheap ones, again, Amazon or Wilco's, uh, normally the best place, you can get them from Tesco's and bits like that, but I would say Wilco's is a little bit better. Um, and you can get ones that are battery powered, so you don't need to plug them into the mains, obviously you do have to buy batteries for them, but if you have to plug them into your mains, they, you know, and you want it in the opposite corner, it can be a massive faff. So I normally tend to get battery ones, then I can put them wherever and just make sure I've got a stash of batteries. One that I really like is plants. Um, I don't mean in a general sense of, you know, the plants that die quite frequently because I try and keep plants for the life of me. But as a student, plants aren't on top of your agenda. So get something quite hardy and strong, so like a cactus, um, you know, an aloe vera plant, um, something like that. It doesn't need a lot of water, you know, you just water it once every three, four weeks. Literally, that is it, three or four weeks. And it, it doesn't need to be a lot, it only needs to be a small amount. And then they stay green. Um, you know, you can put them in the, in the shade, you put them in the sun, and they usually quite like it. Um, if you get stuff like herbs or small plants, you know, too much sun, they don't like it, too little sun, they don't like it, too much water, they don't like it, too little water, they don't like it, and it becomes quite a job having to look after it. Well, I found it quite a job, anyway. Um, you might not, but plants are a great way of accessorising your room and not messing anything up and not being charged for ruining anything in a property. Mirrors. Bear with me on this. Uh, most people like full-length mirrors. If, you, if if your room hasn't got one, uh, see if you can get one. See if your landlord might put one on the inside of the wardrobe or they might put one on the wall for you or on the back of the door. If not, um, you can get these um, mirror sort of panels that are stick on. Um, I would always suggest sticking it onto something that's not a wall because if it leaves a mark again, you're going to lose deposit. So it'd be something like an edge of a wardrobe or you know the back of the door again. I would make sure that 
the adhesive doesn't leave any marks beforehand and that you double check the landlord to make sure it's all alright because if you go making changes the last thing you want is to be charged for it. But these mirrors are quite good because they um, they reflect light so they make your room feel bigger, they make your room brighter uh, and they make it more of a comfortable space to be. So mirrors are a good thing even if it's just a desk one, you know, um, one that you can pop on your desk and you can move around it's just nice to have because it reflect the light as long as it's not in your eyes. The last bit before I go over it all, smells. So um, I don't necessarily mean candles because candles are a little bit of a fire hazard, but they are good. Um, I mean, um, you know, your incenses, um, you know, the ones, the sticks that you put into um, sort of perfume and you can turn them upside down. Those kind of bits, perfect. Because whatever you've got at home, you can mimic that and bring it into your room because a lot of people get homesick. And you know if someone's been in a different place because they smell different, it doesn't smell like home. Um, and there was a really interesting study actually, just to divert in the fact that uh, a lot of cleaning companies um, used to, they had a really strong bleach smell and a lot of people didn't like it. Um, but when they changed the scent, a lot of people bought it because it smelled fresher and cleaner. This is exactly the same. Smells are connected to you know good memories, they're connected to emotions, so make sure your uh, matching those two up, you're getting the right smells in your room. So when you come home after a hard day, it smells nice, you're happy to be there and you're relaxed. You can also get a relaxing one. So just to summarise, what you can do to decorate your student room. Uh, so cork boards, if you like to change things around, you know, Wilco's, got them in. Uh, look at utilising your desk space, very good space. Um, photos. Ideally, you know, um, if you've got printed out ones, you can print them and stick them onto uh, wardrobes, in your desks, uh, on the backs of doors, somewhere where it's not going to leave any marks um, and not on the walls. If you put blue tack on walls, it can mark. No sellotape either. Tried that one. Doesn't work. Um, no frames. Colourful. Uh, sorry, colourful. Careful with blue tack, as I've just said. Lights are a big plus. So uh, fairy light, lamp light. Or desk lamps rather um, they are a great way to brighten up your room accessorize it even if you get not colorful lamps or bulbs but the ones that have a colorful vase or shades or anything like that really good um, plants are really I'm a really big fan of because they can you know make your room seem so much better and they can add a bit of color and you get ones that are really simple to look after finally smells uh, get something that smells like home don't get, don't just get a candle because they are a fire hazard. You know, um, get something that you can, you know, like a little air freshener or a stick. Um, you know, that you can turn up upside down every so often. Focus on those ones. Make it smell how you want it to smell, and enjoy your room.